Welcome back. I'm Mrs. Dowson, and this is Lesson 1.3. Our exit ticket preview. At the end of this lesson, you will write what the prefix miss means, and we'll write an example of a word with miss as a prefix. Just a reminder, you should have the last page of your notebook set up like this. Pause the video now to complete this step if you still need to do so. Let's review what we've learned so far. In the last lesson, we talked about two prefixes that mean not. Take a moment and see if you can remember one or both of these prefixes. If you said un, you were correct. Un means not or the opposite of. Just like un, dis can also mean not, but it can also mean apart from. If you remembered both of them, Give yourself a pat on the back, or at least the shoulder, which is where you can reach. Today, we'll discuss another prefix. This box is for the prefix. A prefix goes before a root word to change the meaning of a word. A prefix will always come at the beginning of a word. Today, we will talk about the new prefix, miss. That could mean not, but more often it means bad or wrong. Here are some non-examples. Missed, missed, or premise. Just because they contain the letters M-I-S does not mean that miss is being used as a prefix to change the meaning of a root word. Here's a good example of using miss as a prefix. If you misread something, you probably read it wrong. Please pause the video to write what we know so far about the prefix miss. Miss means bad or wrong, like in the example, misread or misread. Another example of the prefix miss is misspell. If you misspell something, you probably spelled it wrong. If you misorder something, you probably ordered it wrong. Now you can take a moment to make your own real or made up word with miss as a prefix and tell a neighbor or whisper to yourself if you're working independently. Pause the video if you need more time. I hope you didn't mishear what the instruction was and make a mistake. I wouldn't have misled you on purpose. Great job. Now you're ready for your exit ticket. Your exit ticket is to write what the prefix miss means. Then write an example of a word with miss as the prefix. I hope that you didn't make any mistakes on your exit ticket. Check with your teacher to see if you earned your point. If you did, give yourself your next tally mark in your score box. If you did not answer correctly, take another chance to earn your point now. I'll see you in the next lesson.